Trump is now in serious legal jeopardy, and it has nothing to do with the Mueller report Donald Trump, along with his right-wing media enablers, have been pushing the idea that just because attorney, General William Barr said in a four-page summary of Mueller's report that there were no clear signs of collusion with Russia then Trump must be cleared of all possible crimes he was accused of. Trump himself even took to Twitter shortly after Barr's summary to write no collusion, no obstruction, complete and total exonerations. That tweet will not age well. Writing for The Esquire Ryan Lizza explained why and how Trump is still not in the clear and how his legal troubles are just beginning. Lizza notes that the most serious accusation against Trump that he affirmatively and criminally conspired with Russians in their twin plots to hack and distribute Democratic emails and spread disinformation through social media was also the least likely to be proven during Mueller's investigation. And even though Trump acted like a person with something to hide, it was always unlikely that he was stupid enough to have engaged in a criminal conspiracy with the enemy. But Lizza does note that Trump supporters should stop celebrating because Barr's summary has not cleared him from his legal troubles in New York. Lizza explains that in New York, Trump is facing investigations at both the federal and state levels, federal as in prosecutors for the Southern District of New York, state as in the New York State Attorney General's office. The state's attorney general and its Department of Taxation and Finance also have active investigations of Trump entities, Lizza observes. Across the East River, in Brooklyn, the Eastern District of New York is reportedly looking at Trump's inaugural committee, but Trump may have the most to fear from SDNY. Proving collusion with Russia is difficult, Lizza continues. Proving bank fraud is easy. SDNY prosecutors treated Cohen like a hardened criminal, and they made it clear they wanted his superiors at the Trump Organization and other institutions put on notice. Lizza goes on to say, the point here is not that Trump is a criminal or to engage in anti-Trump fantasies about the president being taken away in handcuffs. It is simply to point out that the real danger for Trump, and his closest family members, is from zealous prosecutors in New York who have already shown in the Cohen case that it is rather easy to find criminality, especially around taxes and banking, when the target is, to put it mildly, less than scrupulous with his books. Lizza concludes his piece by stressing that there is real danger for Trump in New York.